My name is Jason Mullinax, and I'd like to welcome you back to Music Discovery Lab. We're here again with my friend Keith Sinzinger at the District of Chaos Studios. And today he has two uh, instruments from his collection that he'd like to talk about. These are two balafons. So, Keith, where did you get these instruments? I got these at estate sales in my neighborhood, actually. Um, they both came from West Africa, and they were both broken when I got them. <laughs> So I had to do a little bit of uh, repair work on each. Okay. What about this one? This one, the um, the gourds, which act as the resonators here, uh, are suspended by strings. They were hanging down. I had to do a little sewing. Okay. So I actually have a couple of these instruments at home, too. Um, and in case you don't know, balafons are kind of like uh, precursors, ancestors to the uh, modern-day marimba and xylophone and as Keith just mentioned they have gourds at the bottom which act as resonators so that's what helps give the instrument its sound. Um, the way you tune the bars uh, depending on how long they are uh, has a lot to do with the pitch but you can also maybe you can see here there's an indentation that's been carved out of the of the bar. The length and the depth of that indentation helps determine the pitch. And you can see also that some of these bars are shaped uh, by cutouts on the end here, that's another uh, method of tuning. Okay, so let's talk about the mallets. So both of these instruments came with their own mallets, correct? That's right. Okay, so this is just made out of wood and there's some rubber around the edges, it looks like it's come from a tire, and then Keith also has some. Yeah, these are these are just carved out of, out of hardwood, which of course the keys are also hardwood, and wrapped with uh, natural rubber. One of these was broken, I did my best to, to repair this one too. And the cool thing about the mallets is that you can use both sides. So if you use this side, the rubber side, you get a very warm type of sound. But if you use the other side, it's a lot brighter and it cuts through a lot more. Cool. So do you want to do a little jam with these? Yes, I would. Alright, let's see what these things sound like together. <laughs> Are you ready to do this? Maybe. All right, let's see what happens. So I'm just going to start jamming, and I guess you come in when you feel in the feel in the groove. All right. So here we go. practice it or something. We surprise <laughs> ourselves. Yeah. So good job, Keith. Thank you so much.